After the expiry of the 13-year concession by Jacobson Electro for the Naman V50 megawatts thermal plant, it has now reverted to the government and specifically for the generation company. The way the BOT works is that he, the investor recovers all his money. After recovering his money, then he transfers the asset back to government at actually no cost. But for this plant, I think the minister has explained, there were some other obligations, like they had fuel in the storage tanks, they had spare parts in the store. So those are some of the costs that we, the government had to... The thermal plant is one of the several that were established at the peak of the load shedding and power shortage in 2005, but remained as emergency supplies in 2012, even though the government continued paying the operators. The government, through the generation company, will now be able to reduce tariffs by about 18% through reduced costs, thereby providing an emergency backup and enhancing security for the existing renewable energy sources. Those expenses are cost drivers in the tariff. Once the expenses go down, then obviously electricity regulator will have to make sure that the tariffs also go down. In 2006, Uganda government took an investment decision to build a thermal energy plant worth $66 million on loan under the management of Jacobson Electro, a Norwegian firm, and the plant was commissioned in 2008. Betty Dagire, NTV Business.